Who knows all the countries in the world or even knows the basics about them? That's why I made this small series to give you a brief overview on the most important data of their political system. And today it's about Sweden. The official name of the country is Kingdom of Sweden or Konungariket Sveri. I don't even try. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't speak Swedish. The form of government is a parliamentary monarchy. The head of state is King Karl XVI, Gustav, King of Sweden, since September 1973, so longer than I live. Representative of the state is Crown Princess Victoria. She's Crown Princess since um, July 1995. The head of government is Prime Minister Stefan Löwen since October 3rd in 2014 and the second term is running since 2019. He's from the Social Democrats. The foreign minister is Anne Linde since October 2019, also from the Social Democrats. On the Human Development Index, they rank eighth place. Sweden is a hereditary monarchy with a parliamentary form of government. The queen or the king only performs representative functions. The prime minister is elected by parliament and appoints the members of the cabinet. Sweden has a central administration with around 80 decentralized administrative authorities. Government appointed uh, government presidents work in the 21 provinces. Sweden is one of the countries with the most widely implemented gender equality. The female employment rate is around 80%, the highest in the EU. Sweden is a member of the EU, the United Nations and the Nordic Council. The main points of Swedish foreign policy are the preservation of a rules-based world order, free trade, conflict prevention, humanitarian aid, protection of human rights and containment of the consequences of climate change. And if you're also interested in other topics for the first time, there'll be a premiere tonight on my Queer Views channel. It's in German, so if you understand a little bit of German, it's an interesting interview. Come and visit me there. Auf Wiedersehen.